Working alone in the lab again? Doesn't that seem a little unsafe? I see, you've done this a lot and everything's going fine. Working alone in the lab is a lot like going on a hike by yourself. If you're an experienced hiker, you know what to bring to be safe, right? And it's usually fine, except when it isn't. And although these events are rare, the severity of the event is compounded when you're alone. If another person is with you, they can assist you in times of danger. No, not just any person. You need someone there who is competent, knows how to use safety equipment, and is willing to help. Then the outcome is an important safety lesson rather than a life-altering tragedy. And it's the same thing in your lab. Most of the time, it's perfectly safe. Except when it isn't. And that's when being alone compounds the danger. Best practices and authorities say, don't work alone. Because having a responsible partner in the lab minimizes the danger you're in. It can't be just anyone. It can't be someone down the hall. A responsible partner can see you and hear you, knows how to respond in an emergency, use safety equipment, and be able and willing to call an emergency number. So, do a conscious risk assessment for all lab work. As you're preparing for emergencies, think about what level of attention to your work your lab partner should have. If there's a serious hazard, they may need to be right there with you with appropriate safety equipment and the ability to call for help quickly. For something more routine, maybe just working in the same room is fine. Once you've really thought it through, document that decision. A lab can be a high-risk environment, even if you're just there to do paperwork because sometimes the risk doesn't necessarily come from what you're doing, but from someone else's project. And improbable things happen when they're least expected. So partner up. A responsible partner could just make the difference. Finding a lab partner? Great idea.